good it's not morning happy fall break friends i'm so glad you're here welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is cheney i'm a first year high school teacher in the state of oklahoma i teach latinx studies today is october 14th thursday a fall break fall break is almost over it has not been the fall break of my dreams like I thought it would be either. We've been having like a lot of maintenance, work orders, maintenance issues in our house. And that's all happening during this week. So this is not how I intended or envisioned my fall break being. I envisioned it with like me doing absolutely nothing. Just chilling here with the baby, playing, watching movies. I haven't done any of that, to be honest. I've been here stressing over house stuff. Anyway, I wanted to get on here and do a little, a little half, a little days in my life during fall break because I'm trying to live it up. I'm trying to self care to the max. I'm trying to pamper myself. I'm trying to treat myself. I'm trying to take these last few days that I have, precious, precious days that I have and claim them back for myself, reclaim them the way that they were meant to be, the way I intended them to be. I haven't had makeup on all week. Um, Y'all know my struggles. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know the struggles I've been having with acne due to face masks, having to wear masks at school, which like I support 100%. It's just my skin is really going through it right now and I haven't worn makeup all week in hopes of helping it out a little bit and giving it what it needs which is some air and things not touching it all the time even though I do touch my face a lot like it's just a habit. I'm really glad you're here. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. I would love to have you as a subscriber. I'm a full-time first-year teacher, first-year high school teacher in Oklahoma. I'm also a PhD student, baby, trying to get that fourth degree. Um, and I'm a new mom. You can find me over on Instagram if you want to stay connected and up-to-date with me over there. I'll put the link in the description as always. Ways. It's already almost four o'clock. This week has just really been trying me and everybody's been trying me, but I'm not trying to let that get me down. Not even a little bit, even though it sounds like it. I'm not trying to get me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to let this week turn into a beak. I'm not trying to do it. A beak is a bad week. I don't want that. The baby is asleep. The baby is teething AF and not in the greatest mood, not feeling the best. I'm gonna take you along with me for these last couple of days of rest and reclaiming time. Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you. I've been pacing circles in my bedroom. I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom. Let me do what I do best, slow down, let me talk to you Don't tell me about your worries, I ain't staying till the afternoon I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been tracing secrets in your heirloom Calculating all the aftermath Now when I miss it, some menace in my mind But protagonist It's kinda crazy The kinds of things life throws at you I never knew I'd feel so safe in your arms Now you're all I need wasn't long before I knew That I fell for you and you had my heart As fast as the seasons changed My heart was stolen Parts of me Good morning. Is it still morning? No, it's 12-11. On Friday, the little one and I are gonna go for a walk. So 
so the little one and I are walking. It's pretty, um, it's pretty windy outside. <laughs> so I'm hoping that it's not too bad, uh, at least for y'all watching, especially if you have headphones on. Nothing in this world can make me feel the baby and I just got back. Um, we went to the park, we walked, sorry, actually, hold on, my battery's about to die. We just got back from the park and going to Ross and to Target. I went into Ross because I just had a strong call to go into Ross. In Ross, I got, real quick, I got a turtleneck, okay, mostly because I like the color. It's a sweater turtleneck. I'll see if I can try it on at some point. I don't have a good history with turtlenecks because it makes me feel claustrophobic, like having something wrapped around my neck. Yeah, claustrophobic or like strang strangulated. I don't know. I found these glasses for 99 cents. So they're wider at the bottom and they come in slightly at the top. I just really think these are pretty. I got two of them. That's really it. Like we only have like two glasses. I wouldn't say we're minimalist at all, like to any degree, but I hate clutter. That might seem like this seems cluttered right now. And believe it or not, this morning it was pristine. Then we went to Target because I needed to get Meech his Christmas gift, like the big, the big Christmas gift. And I got us some hand towels because in our master bathroom, we don't have any, like we have the little things where you put the hand towels, but we don't actually have them. So I got these kind of like waffle, um, waffle knit ones that I think are really pretty. I feel like my mom would really love this. And then I got a bath mat for the downstairs bathroom because the bath mat that we had down here, I actually moved upstairs. So this says, mi casa es su casa. I think it's really cute. I wasn't expecting Target to have something like that, but they do. Meech just got home and actually that awful um, buzzing noise is our air conditioner. So I'm gonna try to move it. Come on. He just got home and we actually need to make another Target run. We're gonna do that. We're probably gonna figure out what we're gonna eat as well. Before I knew that I feel for you and you. It is 10, 12 already. I got a room light. So I have one in my classroom and I took that one to school because it's really not that good. I got it from Amazon. It's decent, like it works and my students really love it. At nighttime, our house barely has any light. But anyway, it's 10, 12, little ones asleep. Meech is over there in the living room. I actually have Frugal Fit Mom on YouTube right now on the TV. For dinner, we went to my one of our favorite places called El Dicho. And I love to go there because they have the best, the best ceviche ever. Hands down, if you are in OKC or you're passing through OKC or whatever, you have to go to El Dicho if you like ceviche, if you like spicy ceviche. It's just so good. By the time I'm leaving there, my nose is running and that's just how I like it. I think I actually am about to make a margarita and catch up on some more YouTube probably. Not think about school at all. We're not thinking about school. I will catch up with you in the morning. This morning we got up early because you know, the baby gets us up early. He smiled at me. <laughs> we got up early today and we put on some walking clothes, got the baby ready, and we went for a walk at our favorite park, which you have seen me go to multiple times by now. It's over by a lake called Lake Hefner here in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's really close by and it's it's a really nice park just to walk. There's so many deer. You see like little families of deer just like grazing. For that actually, we went to a brunch spot here in the city called Sunnyside Diner. If you are in Oklahoma City, if you live here or if you're visiting or passing through and you haven't been to Sunnyside Diner, I think they have like three or four locations here in the city. I know there's one on the south side, there's one all the way up in Edmond, and there's one more 
kind of downtown definitely go to Sunnyside this morning I got the green chili and chorizo benedict after that we came back home the baby was zonked he was knocked out he slept for a good couple of hours which he really needed he woke up in a pretty good mood hungry like the hungriest i've seen him i did Meech's hair i got him braided up we did two braids in the front and then two in the back just a little top crown now we're getting ready to go to an event it's like a month-long event called pumpkinville or what i tell me calabasalandia it's a good like little kid thing to do in oklahoma city it's downtown in the botanical gardens they have the children's park over there and they fill it up with like all of these pumpkins and it's like a playground and like just little cute picture opportunities and all of that stuff wanted to check in with you because i haven't talked to you today i'm just really trying to soak up today and tomorrow and just like let it happen the way that it's supposed to i'm gonna do my hair real quick and we're gonna go and i'm gonna show you some stuff it's gonna be cute <laughs> I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back on the same page Tonight can we stay And why don't you Talk to me, talk to me Let's start a conversation When you spend your time with me you speak in my love language Talk to me, talk to me We don't need a translation We just got back from doing everything Mama made it We just got back from doing everything, all the things This morning we went to a different park in Yukon. We were able to let the baby run around there. There's a lot to see. They're already putting up their Christmas stuff. There's like all kinds of Santa stuff and light stuff, which is like not on during the daytime, obviously, but I think they start opening it for nighttime, like, I don't know, right before Thanksgiving or right after Thanksgiving. I can't remember exactly, but we went there. We walked around with the baby. We went to the park side of it because a lot of it is like walking and they have have trails and gardens and like a couple of little ponds and then on the other side of it they have like a whole playground and a big pond and geese it's a really good park a really nice park to go to so we went there this morning early this morning with the baby then we went to aldi to get our weekly groceries i'm not even gonna bother really showing anything because we usually get the same thing every week we get our usual grapes our like lettuce green mix um we have to get eggs we have to get yogurt like meech gets his juice there eggs but i'll show you things that i got this week that i haven't ever gotten before they had the chobani oat milk pumpkin spice flavored i'm not a huge pumpkin spice person aldi almost never has oat milk so i really wanted to take advantage of that and then we got these maple leaf cream cookies it's meech and i both used to live in Ma western massachusetts and vermont is like an hour away 45 minutes or an hour away and they're like so famous for their maple syrup so i was like let me try this it's really sweet it tastes it it smells just like maple like the smell brings back some good memories for me but they're so sweet like they're almost like unbearably sweet so i think these are good but i can't do super sweet stuff that's that's my thing if it's too sweet i just can't i don't know just like super sweet things leave weird tastes in my mouth i just thought i'd share that with you guys it's my last day before school school starts tomorrow so i'm trying to soak it up i do need to do some school things so i'm gonna try to do that towards the end of the night it's 4 45 already i need to go in there and review my lesson plans for this week i think they're done 
I think I did them before we went on break, but I'm not 100% sure and I really need to go in there and make sure that I did. Look at any emails that I might have gotten. I need to do laundry. I need to figure out what I'm taking for lunch this week. I just gotta get prepared. It's a new week. We're getting into the best time of the year. Apart from su summertime is my favorite time of the year. Only because I love the heat, but we're getting into like the festive time of the year, which is the best. We're making dinner right now. Don't mind the messy kitchen. Pero quiere explicar lo que está haciendo. Está haciendo un arroz con leche. Un arroz con leche. Pues se le echa arroz. Se le echa arroz, se le echa agua, se le echa leche, se le echa un poquitín de vainilla, la que más te guste. Se le echa al final canela, aunque en el proceso se le puede echar canela en madera. No se la eché ahora. No la tengo, pero queda rico igual. It is currently 9.03. A girl is tired. I don't know if I'm ready for tomorrow, to be honest. Dinner was really good. All I did was I mixed some soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, maple syrup, a bunch of garlic. I don't even know how many cloves of garlic, but as many as I felt was necessary, which is usually a lot and then some green onion and i mix that all together it was so delicious that was kind of like the marinade that i let sit there for really not very long maybe like 20 minutes before i put it in the oven let that bake for like I don't know 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes depending on how you like your salmon we pretty much eat everything with rice in this house so i made some white rice i put a little bit more water in it than i usually do to make it a little bit more sticky and i fried up some platanos or plantains which might be a weird combination i also put some mini cucumbers in there and like a little bit of extra soy sauce and some sriracha and some sesame seeds it was so good i am gonna close out the vlog i actually need to do some planning for tomorrow there's a few things in my lesson plan that I want to move around and change. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog and spending this time with me in the last few days of fall break. You can always jump over to Instagram and follow me over there. My handle is at Fry Bread Scholar. I'll link it down below. I be posting stories all the time, so feel free to catch up with me. Stay connected with me over there. I'm pretty active over here on Instagram. And if you are a new viewer, if you're new to the channel or you're returning and haven't joined the family yet, I would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. I would love to see you again here. Don't forget to leave me a little thumbs up, leave me a little comment, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>